So, my score for semester 2, 2022 at the University of Sydney is out today. And let's see guys how much did I get. This video will be broken down into three parts. The first part, I'll share the subjects that I take this semester. And then, my score predictions. And lastly, the reaction and actually check the actual score. To give you a little bit of the background, currently I'm in my first year studying the Bachelor of Commerce. So I finished my first year and I'll be in my second year and penultimate year next year because it's only a three-year degree. I'm majoring in Marketing and Innovation and Entrepreneurship, two majors under the Business School. And this semester, semester 2, 2022, I've taken the core units for both of my majors, so one marketing unit and one innovation and entrepreneurship unit, and the other one is a core unit for all commerce students. The marketing unit, I'm taking marketing research, then the innovation and entrepreneurship, it's innovator skills and action. And the third one, it's bus 1020, it's the quantitative business analysis. In the past, I've heard that bus 1020 can be challenging for some students, especially those that do not like numbers. But I think I've done quite okay at least, so I don't know guys, what's the score that I'll get. Let's move on to these core predictions. Let's start with bus 1020, quantitative business analysis. I think... Um, let me share some of the insights that I have. For the quantitative business analysis, I've done quite well throughout the semester. Like for the mid-semester exam, I got a um, high distinction. And then for the homework, I've completed and got almost perfect score. For the individual task, I also did well. And for the group project, uh, we did quite okay. We got a distinction. So it all depends on the final exam. It's how well did I do on the final exam, which I think it's kind of hard, like the exam, the final exam, because it covers all the materials throughout the semester. And like there's so many formulas and stuff like that. But I should be able to do it. Like at least it's okay. So maybe my prediction will be a distinction which is like somewhere between 75 to 84, I believe. Then for the second one, the marketing research, I also did pretty well. Like for the mid-semester exam, I got like 90-something too. And then for the group project, we did quite okay. We got a distinction, I believe. Let me just check it actually, because it's been quite a while, guys, since I <laughs> see these things. I finished my exams in like mid-November, and like now it's already mid-December, so it's been a month since I actually see uni stuff yeah we got distinction on the group project for marketing and then we got like i got full participation marks and like mid semester exam i almost got perfect score so it also all depends on this final exam for marketing but i think i did okay at least okay so maybe i'll say I, i'll get high distinction for marketing research but we'll see you guys it's a bit of a high expectation here because actually I want to get like KHD for everything but I know that sometimes, yeah, sometimes reality might be a little bit lower than my expectation but that's okay. Aim high guys because if we fall then at least it's still quite high. Okay and the last one for the innovator skills and action. This is also core unit for my other major. So this is a big question mark. We don't have exam for this unit. It's all like project based. There's a like group project and individual project. And the score for two of the projects, I don't know yet. Even though like one of the project is like quite somewhere in the middle of the semester. But somehow they just never share the scores for the project. So I have no idea where my score is actually at for this unit. But for my first assignment, just to give a little bit of a background. And this might be like the assumption of my prediction. I got like a distinction, which is like a very high distinction, almost a high distinction. That might be confusing. So I got like, let me just check the score again. Yeah, so for my first assignment, I got like 84.8, which is a distinction. But if I get 85, then it's a high distinction. So it's like near the borderline thing. So for this unit, my prediction, let's just say I'll get a distinction based on my first assignment. Let's log in. Moment of truth, my friend. <sighs> oh yeah, and also uh, this is like 18 credit points while the standard credit points per semester is usually 24. The reason I take 18 instead of 24 is because I did winter course. So I did like six credit points during my winter break. That means that I got six credit points um, in my semester two already. So I just need to do another 18. <sighs> I 
I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? Whoa, this is... This is... This is... This is like super interesting, guys. My predictions are almost all wrong. But like, actually, it still kind of makes sense. But it's just not accurate with my prediction. Let's just break it down. For the quantitative business analysis, the bus 1020, just now I predicted... I'm not even sure, did I predict D or HD? <laughs> I might need to rewatch the video. But I got HD, guys. 86, which is good. Then marketing research, I got 81 distinction, which I don't know. That means that I didn't got very high on the final exam because like for the mid semester exam and also for like participation, group project, it's quite good already. So probably it's just because of the final exam, but it's still good, it's still a distinction. Then for the innovator skills and actions, I got HD. 88 which is good i'm happy with that i have no idea um like the score for that because i don't know the group score and also like the individual project score which is like the majority of the total score combined and lastly this is the unit that i took during winter business practicum i already know the score i got a distinction for that unit and that means the average the average is 84.5 if we round up, it's a high distinction, but I don't think we round up average. That's it. That's this video. Seeing the results, reactions, and stuff like that. If you liked it, please subscribe to this video. Join the journey in everything about uni life, internship, and entrepreneurship. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. And also, please give a like if you do like this video. Bye.